hello in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your Gmail ads to improve the performance of your campaigns hello I'm Uzair and thanks for joining in in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your Gmail ads so let's head over to our notepad so the first one is improving your CTR uh, the higher your CTR the lower your CPC or cost per click is going to be and the opposite is going to be if your CTR is low, lower you are going to pay a higher CPC so aim to improve your click-through rate on a weekly or monthly basis so keep a very close eye on your keywords CTR uh, those keywords with lower CTR you can pause them or remove them from your ad groups and the ones which have got a higher CTR uh, keep running them and bid a little bit more aggressively so you don't lose out in the auction um, target your competitor keywords uh, and you can target your, the, your competitor brands products and even trademarks although you can't put the trademark in the ads you can target them in your uh, targeting so this is a great way to get in front of your relevant audience because if your audience is looking or searching for your competitors keywords and Google knows that they are in your target audience then potentially your ad can show in the gmail so it's a great way to target uh, your competitors uh, keywords brands and trademarks try using different uh, ad formats so just don't go with one split test and see which one works best whether the image ones are working the best the video ones or you can even use the uh, catalog images so you've got multiple images in in your ads you can enable the gmail clicks to websites metric to track your campaign health uh, this will show whether your expanded ad is driving traffic to your website or not so if it isn't that means you need to change the creative or the ads uh, in your expanded ad because people aren't uh, clicking from on the ad and coming to your landing page or your website understand your external gmail ctr and that's the gmail clicks to your website divided by clicks um, so if you see a high volume of clicks to your expanded ads but a low volume of gmail clicks to website that means your expanded ad needs some creative touch-ups and you need to tweak um, your your ad review your display impression share and what that means is if your impression share is low but you're driving strong performance you may want to raise your bids and bid a little bit more aggressively to capture the full opportunity um, of those valuable impressions so sometimes you may be limited by budget as well so increase the budget because um, your campaigns are performing and you don't want to be losing out on those uh, impressions and then we've got use the reach estimate widget to understand your available impressions based on targeting so if your uh, estimates are low you may want to loosen your targeting methods so what that means is your targeting is too tight um, kind of like exact match in search term uh, campaign so what you want to do is loosen your targeting and go a little bit more broader so sometimes people or advertisers use keyword plus um, in market audience or affinity audience so you can uh, ditch one of the uh, targeting options and loosen it a little bit so that you start to get 
uh, more impressions. And the last step is to start with a manual CPC bidding. And once you start to get conversions and your campaigns and your ads are performing, then go to target uh, CPA because then you're handing over the bidding to Google and you tell Google, I'm happy to acquire a conversion at X amount of pounds. And Google will do its best to get you the conversions. And right now, the machine learning and the artificial intelligence is getting better and better. So you will get really good results once you manage to get some conversions. So start off with uh, keeping everything under your control with manual CPC. And once you have got your uh, conversions and the conversion rate, then you give it, hand it over to Google and see what it can do for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that's it for this one. I look forward to seeing you in the next ones. Bye for now.